Prepare yourselves everyone, our vlog starts right now, I'm exhausted. Today we're heading off to the Hong Kong fair, we need to go shopping. The situation for Omega models here in Europe hasn't changed a bit. And yes, yesterday was Saturday, we were at the store, which means we're getting around. We're flying on Sunday, so we're taking off tonight and won't arrive until Monday evening. It's going to be a long journey. After that we're off to Dubai, there's still plenty to do there. For instance, we'll get shots from the alka -Cell. we'll be shooting a video with that. Then, we have another video, another talk that I'm giving on personal branding. And so, the video is definitely going to be awesome, I'm totally done. But that's how it is, no complaints. Hey, 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 who do we have here? Yes. How's it going? All good? We'll be coming to America too. We've booked this service now. I believe it's going to be an adventure too. So folks, we've got another podcast before Hong Kong with Andy and Claude. I think it's going to be a really thrilling episode. We need the right perfume today. I also know which one I'll choose. First off, I thought I'm going to mix this now. Hey, take a longer look at this, will you? What exactly is it? What do you want? I love them so much. I love Put them so down. much. Both of them, but Kaja. You rarely see something like that. Guys, hold on tight. Today is going to be a wild ride. The best-selling perfume from Spirit of Dubai is Maidan. It's like the first generation. It's a fierce leather scent that has a pleasant note in it. And, by the way, check this out. That's how you wear perfume. That's already 10 to 15 sprays. You can definitely go for that. Even that can give you a headache. But this is all topped. I could have gone for bats today as well. No, I could have chosen bats today. Anyway, maiden it is. We're really going to refine everything now with quite a bit of courage oil, genuinely. Over the years, I've diligently collected oils. I have more, but these are the choices of premium items. And right here, we're going to pick out something really nice. What do you think we should choose? Or we could take that one up there. We take that one up there. Here, we've got something. I will select this exquisite oud oil originating from Ajoie to serve as the foundational base for the creation of the cherry oud fragrance. In a small amount, of course. We'll take that with us now, too. This is going to be a hit. Check it out. Boom. That's what it looks like. We're taking that with us, too. So, and now we are. Doesn't the studio suddenly smell like Andy and Chloe's place, right? All right, folks, let's get moving. One of the last rides with the companion. By the way, the car will be stored in America. Not too bad at all, right? I believe not racking up mileage isn't a bad thing either, really. So what do you do in the family? Do you make vlogs? No, I always make vlogs. Have you never seen my vlogs? This is zero. No, listen, I'll tell you one thing. People currently prefer vlogs. Actually, I'm also the type who does more of these glossy things. All my vlogs are more popular at the moment. And that's why we've got this hybrid model now. We film like this, and then, when we have a proper video, for example, this video is Hong Kong Fair. Tomorrow and the day after, I'm in Hong Kong. Yes, right, I've heard. Yes, so, then Patrick comes, and we put the phone away, shooting in high definition. That's awesome, doing it this week. In the club, partying to techno, shirtless, I have with me, or it fails. And where the camera, hence quality. But look, the camera, for example, I think I filmed with it too, it's just too much for me, it's just too big, that thing. Stick to your Porsche. Tricky, those Porsches. Tricky, tricky. Should I slow it down? That's right. The weight. Yes, yes. Here we go. It's starting. All right, folks. We're kicking off the journey. We've got a long road ahead of us. Today is Sunday evening and we'll arrive on Monday evening. It's definitely going to be a challenge for some of the participants on this trip. The man behind the camera, he's going to have a long sitting session. You're currently editing the first video right now, right? Yeah, sure, you know, what else I was also thinking. Strategically, it's not really that smart. I had the issue, wanted to take Osmar on the trip. I need someone to check all the clocks. You can do the, you handle videos, so inspect the clock closer when I say, check glasses for scratches. Let's put it this way. We've got a week of fun and joy ahead. Swimming trunks packed. Swim trunks coming. Let's check time allowance. <music> Otherwise, if you're wondering what I'm wearing today, not in a suit, no, we have some new products in the Gebauer Gebauer collection. Among them, this hoodie. 
buck tranquil water scene captured. The most popular model. There are also a few pieces of clothing which now have nothing to do with the watch theme, but this is now my personally chosen travel outfit for Hong Kong, and if you're genuinely interested, everything is available on the website of course, and directly in stock. So I... Must say, I'm honestly not feeling that worn out at all. Just had a quite short little nap, I think. I could be more exhausted, but I hope that we're about to arrive now. In just a few hours, I will be able to go to sleep. It is a slight concern, only briefly holding me back. Otherwise, we might draw a brief conclusion. So, with America, my extreme worries have actually subsided quite a bit. And where do I actually have more now? I actually don't feel like it. Many colleagues, Sasha, Nico, and others, said they would come over too. We can also shoot cool video projects there. I'm really looking forward to that too. And now we just have to go for it. Sadly, I can't be in the store on Saturdays anymore. I had so much fun with it, but maybe we'll open a store there someday too. Otherwise, do you know how much time that takes? How much time I've already wasted in my life making Instagram posts like that? But no one cares about that. It does look really aesthetic though. I've set the camera to super still, you know. I've been waiting here the whole time for a plane to take off. But no plane is taking off. I'm doing this for you. What do we want to buy at the fair? That's a really good question. We'll definitely be in search of the 6-30mm Datejust in every possible variation. If we purchase some of those and new Omegas, I have the additional contact for it. That's definitely going to be a topic too. Last time we found some homes that were a bit unusual. Yeah, that's not going to be a topic. Let's say, very few days and so on. I'll be specifically looking for those expensive and rather uninteresting ones. But that's the plan for now. After that, I'll take a look and then hopefully make the purchase. We thoroughly enjoyed eating a very delicious and incredibly succulent big burger around approximately 8.30 a.m. this morning, carefully savoring each and every bite with great pleasure. I need to sleep now. We still have a seven-hour flight ahead of us. Yes, in two hours. In exactly two hours from now, then, we will not be able to sleep. I'd be completely out. And then... When I arrive, I'll stay up all night, and then in the early morning, I want to be exhausted. I will certainly make plans for that accordingly then. Hello there, Mr. Brown. Yes, that's a great discovery. I have indeed included the specific name Seuss within the detailed letter that I meticulously sent out. How are you today? All good? Yes, I have the name Seuss in my letter. Actually, I really mustn't sleep right now at all because we are going to arrive in the evening. That means I definitely really want to get some sleep right now. So we've landed. It's currently 3 p.m. in Germany. Here it's half past 10. We'll now pick up our luggage and then head to the hotel. I made an error. Of course, slept. I also slept for a long time. I took off on the plane. I definitely snoozed for five hours. Easy. Seriously, that's really not at all what he mentioned. I know, I know, I indeed know. It was very, very wrong of me. So now we're going to see what happens tonight. I guess it's going to be, it's going to be a long night, yes. And then tomorrow, I believe we're at the fair from about 8 a.m. So then, let's take a moment to explore and find cool, stylish watches for you there. Where was your suitcase? Because of you, we've been waiting here half an hour, right? That much is absolutely clear, honestly speaking. No, that is completely it. check-in, then it's off to bed. We've seen a lot of dealers, well, quite a few, some folks, you know, from back in the day from the Munich Fair are here too. Yes, let's see now. I'll try to fall asleep quickly and then get up early tomorrow.
I've just gotten off the phone with my friend Victoria after a long conversation. The day begins. A lot of people also keep asking, what are some traits? I experienced this recently at work in the store. What are traits that make a person, I don't know, successful? But what are traits one should acquire? In a scenario where there happens to be active collaboration, whether it's a complex relationship between a customer and a respective seller, or between an employee and their boss. One of the primary elements I have consistently been noticing, which effectively saves a substantial amount of debate, is being able to admit mistakes. And that's largely because, for instance, the other person, let's take the example of a watch. I would sell a watch, and this watch has a problem. And then the customer says, yes, but the watch doesn't work. And then I would like to say, yeah, but yes, but that's simply because it's quite normal that the that this particular error occurs, yes, but indeed I sold it just like that, yes, but the watch is really something entirely different, you see. Then the other person will always feel as if they're not really understood, like they don't quite grasp what I'm expressing. And with employees, it's like this. For example, you forgot to send a package or you forgot to fulfill some duty of yours. You forgot to send a package. Yes, but I was so busy. Yes, okay, but then it might have something to do with the structure of how you go about your day, like how you organize your daily life. Or you could possibly say, yes, I indeed had previously wanted to do that, but then unexpectedly, someone else came along and effectively held me up. The greatest thing one can ever do is, it's very close to my heart, simply learn to admit mistakes. Nobody is perfect, nobody. I can't tell you now if I ever made a huge mistake with a client, but yes, with Rin, one could say with Rin, I didn't look when we delivered the watch, what kind of clasp was on the wall elements. I was able to solve that. But for sure, I've made some big blunders too. And what I always noticed was simply to say, I'm sorry, it was my fault. This way you avoid all arguments. The other person is also powerless. For instance, we recently found ourselves in a situation. Let me just tell you, someone actually reacted extremely well. We had a situation, so I'm checking the email inbox on Friday, someone. Someone consented to the purchase and dispatched the ID along with all documents, serial number, and so forth. On Tuesday, or Monday evening, or on Tuesday, he asked again, saying, how's it going? Will I get the purchase receipt and the label? And on Thursday, I saw it. The next morning, I went there and said, who? Why was this left behind? Why did you leave it there? Then the person in charge said, sorry, my fault. What's your response? You say, okay, please not next time. Had he said, yes, you know, it was so far down and we thought we'd do it today. No, perhaps the prices could either drop significantly or rise. Maybe you'd potentially consider selling to someone else. That's how he started, leading a discussion. And that is a very, 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 very important trait one needs to learn. Simply also, sometimes mistakes are human and admitting things and just saying, okay, it went badly. Therefore, if you recognize yourselves, work on it. This is one of the most important insights to be successful and to collaborate, admitting mistakes. It also makes me feel better about the other person that see problems too and might be working on them, but saying, oh, I work so much or oh, but I do a lot. Yes, but, but, but that's not going to help anyone. That's not going to help anyone. Otherwise, you have to say I'm overwhelmed by the situation. Please provide me with someone else who can better oversee this task, for instance, now, before people start whining in the comments again about something because everyone has to work too much. So we have got to, yes, we really need to get ready now. Who's that bum knocking? Seriously, it can't be, so early. It's been since seven, this is just not happening. It's been since four in the morning and truly slept like on a plane. I tell you, never go freelance, seriously, don't ever go freelance. I actually considered for a moment if I could just not get up and tell the guys, yeah, whatever, I'll come by 10. That was just one of those days, starting from the top. Okay, project manager mode engaged. I've never tested it, one of the most beautiful bottles. It's called the House of Ode Wasabi, I believe. Actually, not a good name, because wearing wasabi on your skin, I believe, wouldn't be celebrated that intensely. Have you tested the scent yet? Okay. I know where it comes from. So this happens to be a somewhat greener scent, you see. I might just go over the items once again now. In fact, it's actually more of a very subtle, quite light floral hint on the inside, I would say. But, you know. It's not that bad at all. People are asking me today, how should one apply perfume? I'll show you now how I apply perfume, okay? 
So I don't really do it much on the skin. Instead, we'll do this. Zap, 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 zap. Then I do one here. Zip, zip, go zip. Then zip, 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 zip. And then, of course, over on the other side as well as right here. Zip, are we all fully prepared, completely ready, and good to go now, without any doubt. Wasabi, I'm gonna grab my phone real quick and then we can read up on what else it smells like. It's undeniably quite similar to that distinct gambling perfume, making it extremely suitable and ideal for daily usage. Well, I'd even see it fit for the business sector. Gambling does have that whiskey note in it. And here, we're a bit more professional, I actually see. The pinstripes here. Wasabi, by the way, I have just successfully obtained the current price for Purple Flamingo. Production cost? That doesn't look good. It's more expensive than Arabian King. Okay, wow. Yeah, that's exactly right. Wabi Sabi. Wabi Sabi is indeed the name. Wabi Sabi. So inside we have vanilla, cinnamon, musk, Turkish rose, sambac, wasabi accords, bergamot, pink pepper, lime leaves, and pear. I can actually smell that. So folks, a cool fragrance. Generally, House of Wood. Feel free to check out the brand. Just the bottle by itself is already quite a and to place that thing and to buy it. So we're now ready, we're heading to breakfast. I'm really, truly, deeply starving right now, you see. I'm genuinely, completely starving. And then, after we've finished everything we planned for the day, we'll make our way over to the definitely one of the big dealers. Did you see his watches, what he's got? I don't even know how he can sleep at all. When you think about it, traveling and all, falling, rising, how is it? I have no idea. It's a stack of watches. Whole other level, really. Different level. But in Dubai, we're heading to the hall too. That's not all yet. You'll see other things there. Intense. So let's look again at what we find here. What's also quite fascinating is, you might think not everything can be real in the presentation, but these things are all real. Only the presentation might appear to be slightly unusual, but in fact, everything is real. Let's take a look here. We need to check this out again. Maybe there's something new here. So a brief interim summary. It's now 11.57 a.m. We've been here since, let's say, just before 9 a.m. And you can definitely look forward to some very, very exciting stuff. Among other things, and it's quite, actually quite challenging and somewhat difficult to get special dials, factory dials, specifically in the lower price range. Once again, we have these degradé dials on the Datejust, which turn from a royal blue on the inside to black on the outside. And right here, we have two Onyx dials installed in a 36 mm Datejust, all factory made. Super cool. What else did we get? A bunch of Speedmaster stuff. What else did we buy? Oh, we got exactly one Reverso and we got a whole bunch of lady watches. A new segment where we're not really into the subject yet. 29 millimeter, uh, 31 millimeter precisely. Yes, we do have great models with box and papers without, with authenticity certificates, steel rows and so forth. Very, very cool models. Let's see, the first ones we actually sold quite well to the ladies. And now, now we've slightly expanded our product range. Now in the second session, we're diving a bit into more unusual watches, but there's a lot there. There are individuals from America present right here. Definitely, at this very particular fair, quite a few familiar faces have indeed shown up. And yes, filming isn't that easy. That's why we'll be cutting to some situations now and then. But at the fair, people always wanna stay anonymous. So we have to do a bit of undercover filming, but yeah, it's going smoothly. We got some pretty good footage, right? So far, you can see something. You can see something, right? Look now, a key question. I'm not sure if I should. If I should. Buy the Daytona at the track. Now it's time to decide if you want to spend the money or not. That settles the question. The watch is gone. Shame, I had the box. You know what, I'll just buy the box now. I already have the yellow box, green box, I believe again. I'm now getting the pink box. The watches will arrive soon. Someday, I'll have the watch, and then I'll be missing the box. So, I'd rather buy the box now. Oh man, that's a pity. A real pity.
Yes, the very first day of butchering has ended. It was pretty successful. You know, I'm just really thoroughly exhausted. I actually just want to go to bed and sleep. The problem is, it's three o'clock. That makes no sense at all. In Germany, it's eight o'clock right now. None of this makes any sense, but I have to keep going and I would really like to sleep. The day was successful. We made a new contact, namely with Avi Ko, one of the most respected traders hailing from New York. We encountered him right here. Very nice. We had a brief chat, but I think there's potential for some cool content there. He owns a small boutique in New York City and in Miami as well. And what else can we observe? Are these birds around here real? It's chirping. Sounds so very... I said, not sure if I'm real. We can't get down. We just have to go all the way back now. There's our hotel. By the way, if you're wondering why Purple Flamingo is so pricey, they use the same. Iris, the same iris flower, as in the stone label collection by Xerxes of Iris. That costs a pretty penny, right? They're charging. How much? 490 euros, 450, 420 euros for 50 milliliters. But I really didn't expect it to be that expensive, truly. How expensive is it? 279 euros, as it looks right now. That's even a bit more expensive than the thing. We tried everything. Do you know how it happened? We just got the bill. We never talked about the price before, and now we're in a pickle. Now we're in a pickle. Maybe we'll just make a badge because... I do find it prohibitively expensive. 299 euros. With standard costing, with a normal calculation, we'd have to go to 320. Compared to Stone Label, it's obviously a bargain, but we're not exactly a Stone Label kind of outfit, are we? It needs to be said, I'm curious about people's reactions. So, quickly doled up a bit. Now we're off to eat. Lebanese, to be exact. Yeah, in Hong Kong, there's nothing better than Lebanese food. We're now in the city center. Perhaps we might be able to show you a few interesting impressions of the city shortly. Last time, we also ate somewhere around here. Now we're heading up, and then I believe we'll let the day come to a close. It's currently 7.33 p.m., and after that, we are heading back to the hotel. to the fair early again, then once more, well, there are one or two appointments left, but I must say, I've bought so much, I don't even know what else to buy. I keep buying the same stuff, and then maybe a day date, 6.30 a.m., we can check again. And then at 2 p.m., we need to, I think, head to the airport, then we'll fly. Yeah, it's seven hours to Dubai. Not sure when exactly the video video will eventually end at 45 minutes. Otherwise, we might just check the store for any new items that we mustn't forget. So we have um, Zenith, the Chrome Sports models. They're selling well. Oh, look right here, 28 million just came in. Kaching, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Let's see what was bought here. Well, then we have some new gold coins from the Scarface collection. That looks good too. So gold, 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 a few standard Rolex models. Cartier Santos, I must say, it's truly beautiful. If you're looking for a medium, definitely check out the one with the green dial. Even without a date window, super, super nice watch. Very, very beautiful. I'm not sure who had the idea, but it seems we're taking the train now. I don't know what happened there. We're taking a bit of a downgrade now, but sometimes you just have to do it. Let's give it a try here. Luckily, I have people with me because I have no clue. I know nothing.
Where was she? I was over there. Or was she sleeping? No, I'd like to keep sleeping. Afterwards, now all together. Packed yet, actually? Yes. Okay, must now. Pack the backpack, if returning. And, uh, so, because I'm gonna take my things down now. Suitcase, too. Yes. Why not? So, let us start by discussing the exquisite perfume, shall we? I need to get dressed quickly, I want there. Possibly even the best perfume from the entire line, uh, that we carry. Then one must choose Coastal Cliffs, no. On, without a doubt. What's special, probably for most, it's too early to indulge in the scent because we have a lot of young viewers. So, the fair's over. I think we've managed everything quite well. Now, we're visiting another dealer in an office. It was a first for me too. Never been in these offices before. Last time found nothing. It's about new Omega watches for 2024, like Seamasters and stuff like that. Price range very close to approximately 5,000 euros. Now let's see what else is happening within these office buildings. And then off to the plane, nine hours to Dubai. So folks, we've reached the end. We're now heading to Dubai, and there, we'll show you some amazing watches. My presentation, we've got a lot to do, perfume, content, everything will be filmed. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you like this kind of content. We're trying to incorporate everything into the blogs now. Normally we'd have a separate video, say, about Ketna or something by now. And we're now trying to put it all in a single blog so you get to see a bit of the behind the scenes stuff too. So we have a nine hour flight ahead, then we'll catch up on everything. See you soon.